This video is sponsored by PellucidFX.com. Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the ForexPisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody. Well guys, as I said in the research in today's update of the euro currency, it's very difficult to say what kind of activity we'll get today in the ahead of the uh, long-term holidays. Well, but still, uh, on the gold market we do not see much changes. In general, we could say that probably gold market looks really heavy. So forming a lot of different bounces out from the support area market still can't uh, just can't uh, reestablish even minor uh, upward retracement. So we see some bouncing up here and here, but long-term candles with the long with the uh, long shadows indicates that market trying to move high but fails at the end of the day and returns right back down. This indicates the significant supply from the sellers on the gold market, and we have discussed the fundamental part of this. So really not very good moment in uh, the part of the season for a gold market. So seasonally gold right now is bearish and uh, fundamentally as uh, United States continued to contraction of the quantitative easing program, uh, reducing the supply of the uh, cash, that makes an impact on the potential inflation. And inflation is the driving factor for the gold. That's why uh, right now it's not very, uh, not, not very much uh, reasons for the gold market to show some real acceleration to the upside. And this uh, really could lead to downward breakout, maybe not uh, right now, but in the medium term perspective. At the same time, uh, as market technically stands above the significant area for us, this area stands right here, it's our low, uh, we just will continue to watch what uh, market could give us in the nearest term uh, trading and uh, will not try and will not take the unreasonable decisions on the taking the positions before market will confirm uh, its intentions. So uh, to take the short position, we need to see that market will take out of this low. So in general, on the daily time frame char chart, situation remains the same. Market has formed three side by side bullish stop grabbers, but still wasn't able to continue move higher. Although theoretically, as I said, these chances still exist. On the four hour time frame chart, this point was the drastical point for uh, gold market. Uh, if market would uh, fail here, uh, that probably will lead to downward continuation because that's that, that here in fact was the uh, last chance for the market to start and bounce up. And market has shown this. So you can see this action to the upside. Uh, now market stands with a retracement down. In general, inside of this big uh, sideways consolidation we now see some sort of the not quite flag because it's a bit wide for the flag but some other uh, consolidation but to the downside and uh, when market and how it will exit from this area is right now very difficult to predict but any breakout will probably suggest a uh, continuation in the direction of the breakout so if market will take out of this uh, continue move lower, break this support area, then probably could lead to the downward continuation. If we will get this upward breakout, then we will we probably will get uh, some attempt to from the gold market to move higher. But right now, guys, in general, I do not see much what we could do on the gold market. So yesterday, if you have taken the long position, you probably now have the nice profit. But right now, I do not see many opportunities besides as you can see on the past week market just calling with the same amplitude around the weekly pivot point that in general indicates the market indecision the same we could see uh, here maybe gold market uh, doesn't show the significant downward action because uh, there are some geopolitical tensions exist and that probably holds market from the really miserable plunge down but at the same time, market has lack of the power, lack of the fuel to show any upward action. There's no really significant reasons for that. That's why it makes market stands flat 
with the just long shadows uh, showing some sort of the indecision action and that really uh, lasts already for a couple of weeks probably on the hourly time frame chart guys I also do not see much so we see this initial thrust up a downward continuation so uh, to keep the chances on the possible upward continuation market probably should stop this retracement at the sum of the, at the, sum of the support level first level stands at 12.93 that's the 50% support sixth one stands at 1290. so uh, if market will hold he here and turn to the upside that would lead to reversal in the middle of this range and probably should lead to Upward, could, could lead to the upward continuation. The market will fail here. That's also, guys, tickle that's weekly pivot point. Uh, in this case, market probably will continue to move lower again. So that's all that we we'll now have, have on the gold market. Well, uh, also, as I said, I'm not sure that market will be active today because right at the eve of the long holiday. So, so today, activity could be really uh, narrow. So let's see what what will happen uh, in we'll try to take a look at the gold market in the weekend maybe we will, we will be able to find something new to discuss and something that could give us more clarity on the gold market 